Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to show you some of the new functionality that has been added to Power Automate as a result of Microsoft's acquisition of Softomotive and their Win Automation product that they announced today. I've spent the day playing with the product and it is excellent. This is a game changer for Power Automate in my opinion because it completely bridges the gap between all the cloud-based functionality that we're used to in Microsoft Power Automate and then legacy applications which don't have APIs that we can interact with and perhaps are only accessible from the normal desktop environment. My first piece of advice is if you are going to attempt to do this, it does take some patience to get something sophisticated going, you will need a cup of tea. So get that first and let's get on with it. The example that I'm going to show you is I'm going to take a supplier invoice I'm going to run it through DocParser in Power Automate, get the metadata out, and then automatically enter the supplier invoice details into a very, very old legacy ERP system. So first things first, I'm going to show you this really old ERP system. I'm not going to go into any depth, but this is how it looks. So under normal circumstances, you would go down to this screen and start to enter the details of your invoice. I'm not going to do it now because we're going to let Power Automate and Win Automation do it automatically. Here are my test invoices. Um, I've got a few of those in here. And I'm just going to trigger the flow by dropping them into this OneDrive folder. This was production. You'd probably just catch the invoice as it was coming in from email. So I'm just going to take an invoice from here, copy, paste that into there. That's going to start the flow off. Now, it's going to take it a little while before we see it kick in. Um, and so I'm going to explain very briefly what this flow is going to do. So the flow will get triggered by the file appearing in OneDrive. And it's going to take the PDF and send it to DocParser. DocParser is brilliant for analyzing PDF documents to get the metadata out of them. Then it's going to come back from DocParser and start a UI flow, which is going to execute um, Win Automation. Win Automation is then going to open up and log into this legacy ERP application and enter all the details for us. Yeah, it started a few seconds ago, so we should see it now. Here it is coming up on my desktop. Now I'm passing a whole load of parameters into um, Win Automation. Which have, been, which have come out from DocParser having analyzed the PDF. And here we can see that it's going for it now, running the command. And actually what's amazing about this, I've slowed this process down a bit inside of this terminal, terminal emulator, just so you can see it run because it worked so quick. As you can see it going through now, entering the details. It works so fast that you actually couldn't see it working. And there we go. That is a completely automated supply invoice entered into a 25 year old business application. So you can see now the power of this product. Let me show you how it works. So a new document came in to um, Flow. That was sent to DocParser. DocParser sent the information back. We had to wait for DocParser, but that's okay. This is a non-interactive process effectively now. So that took a while. Here I'm just building up the command to send to the UI flow because I made the UI flow super simple. So um, here is um, the name of my process in Win Automation. This is the Win, execut uh, Win Automation executable. And I'm building the, got the executable and which process I'm going to run all on one command. So that's that. This is combined into that. And then another variable, which is all of the um, parameters that are being sent to, the command line parameters that are being sent to the process. And then finally, it runs the UI flow. So, Honestly, it took me a little bit of time to build that text control in the control of the text-based application where I was navigating around the menus. 
and picking out the right options. But a few hours of time could translate into thousands of hours of save time. I'll show you my um, automation. So first thing it does is get the command line arguments and then it creates variables from each of the command line arguments that are being supplied to the application. So I've got seven, the numbering starts at zero. So then it just displays a message. This would be off in production. Um, so I know that the right parameters have come through. And then uh, it splits the invoice data up so I can enter it into the real application a bit easier and puts those into new variables. And it opens a terminal session and just navigates around. Um, all of this down here is all just navigation in the application um, to go in, enter the invoice details and then quit. Um, it works really well. I'm so impressed with how well it works. I run it um, with a bunch of different invoices. Let's just do another one now. Let's get six, six. Now, it's worth having a quick look at DocParser. If you haven't used DocParser, it's absolutely brilliant. It really is. So DocParser enables you to specify a load of parsing rules for a particular document that will um, pick out all the bits of metadata that you're interested in. So if we look at the document that we just brought in, we can see this managed to bring out the invoice date, the invoice number, the subtotal, the VAT, the total, the end user, and I've got another field here, the Office 365 tenant, because the invoice that I was processing had some end user information in it. So overall, I think you can appreciate how you can quickly build up huge amounts of business value by combining the standard functionality of Power Automate with this new functionality offered by Win Automation. There really isn't any gap you can't bridge with this tool um, because it makes it makes gives you the ability to integrate with any application. So there is a lot going on in this video. I haven't gone into any of the technicalities of how it all works, and that's because this video would have just been so long had I done that. I will do separate videos that cover the separate parts of this um, and some of the things that I found along the way. But I would urge you just give it a go. Um, it's an incredible, incredibly powerful combination of products. Um, if you get stuck, reach out to me. I will help you if I can. Um, I've only been using it a short time, so I'm no expert, but the results that I've got so far, very good. Um, so give it a go. Good luck. See you soon.